So as you guys saw, I just mixed up a bunch of stuff. I had strong reds, BPM flight, endo pump, electrolytes, and I have, yeah, that, that was the whole stack. That's been my go-to. Like I said, I'm still training faster than I absolutely love it. Um, the electrolytes basically act as almost like a carbohydrate and give my muscles that fullness. Um, really just hydrate the muscles and honestly, I feel amazing. I feel better training on electrolytes on a fasted stomach and pre-workout than I do with carbs in my system. So still following that routine, um, but yeah, we're gonna go hit the gym, take you guys through like a whole weightlifting session and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly what my training program is for my marathon and my weight training program mixed in with that. So without further ado, let's get into the video. What's up guys, so I'm super excited to share with you guys this recipe that I've been using. I've been putting it all in like my Instagram stories and getting a lot of questions about the kind of protein coffee that I make and uh, it's amazing. The best coffee I have, I honestly prefer it over Starbucks and uh, which means a lot. This protein coffee that I'm about to show you is game changing. Um, it has like 25 grams of protein in it. Calories are only about 140 and uh, yeah, it's everything that I do to break my fast. It's currently almost three o'clock and this is gonna be the first thing I consume and it really fills me up, honestly. Uh, it's amazing. Even if you're not fasting, you could drink it in the mornings and it'll hold you over for a while. So, gonna show you guys exactly how I make it. All right, so this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need 10 ounces of coffee. That's just normally what I go with. And then we're gonna need six ounces, four to six ounces of almond milk. I use the Khalifa, I still don't know how to say it. I use this brand, um, unsweetened, 30 calories per serving, and then whey protein, um, vanilla BPN. 
All right, so first thing I do is I put stevia in the coffee, so for, that's what we're gonna do first. All right, next we're gonna put four ounces of this almond milk into the shaker bottle. So then we're gonna take a scoop of BPN whey protein vanilla flavored. I've never tried any other flavor. I feel like cinnamon roll would be pretty good. I know people try chocolate, which is like a mocha, um, but this tastes like a latte once you're finished. It, it's honestly so good. One whole scoop of uh, protein. So when you shake this, it's gonna be a little thicker consistency, but that's okay because you have 10 ounces of coffee in here, which will um, loosen it up and, and uh, it'll be the perfect combination. Trust me. Shake it up real good so you don't get any clumps. And see? Once you mix it up, it'll have like a little froth on the top and that's the best part. Gonna have a quick taste test. Like look at that froth. Wow, that's good. I have a uh, Starbucks vanilla K-Cups, but you don't even need vanilla K-Cups, but I highly suggest it. This is amazing. As you guys know, I'm no longer running the Philadelphia Marathon and I signed up for the Go One More Marathon in Austin, Texas with the BPN um, community. I know Nick's going to be running the half and then Adam Clink is also running the full. So super excited. I'm going to be surrounded by all those like-minded individuals. Um, I just felt like it was a better fit for me. I'm no longer running the Philadelphia Marathon, but anybody that has signed up for a marathon and maybe you guys were on track with me, I was eight weeks out. I want you guys to still keep pushing because um, I my videos are going to transition. I'm still going to be running, but my marathon prep is only going to start in about three weeks. So right now it's kind of like a maintenance phase. I'm probably running four times a week, but I'm going to really be focusing on getting stronger, um, building more muscle, and just overall just tapering back on the running. But and that's because if I would have kept running at the pace I was, I feel like I just would have been burned out. But by the time the BPN marathon was held. So my whole plan right now is just take these next four weeks as a maintenance phase. I'm still gonna be uploading videos and uh, you know keeping you guys motivated throughout this whole process because like I said, I'm doing this to show you guys that it's possible and uh, just to you know challenge yourself, set these goals that you never thought you could. And I'm, I'm definitely in this with you guys. Just 15 weeks out so I gotta be smart about it um, and just really be conservative about how I go about my training. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna walk you guys through kind of like what my game plan is. I'm gonna actually show you guys my training program that I was using um, for those 12 weeks out and then I'm gonna pick back up once I'm 12 weeks out. Um, so without further ado, let's get into this video. So I did cover kind of what I do wear when training for a marathon, but I did forget some things that I wanna quick go over. I wear a Phoenix 5 Plus to track all my analytics. Um, this is like heart rate, mileage, pace, and it tracks a bunch of other things. But yeah, this is the Phoenix 5 Plus for everybody asks what watch I wear. And also Raw Gear, um, they just dropped, I mean it's perfect timing, they just dropped these like, these five inch um, shorts that I've been wearing for all my marathon training. And these feel amazing when you're running. Um, they're just really, you know, you have no resistance in them and you feel free. Uh, you let the boys breathe through these. I, yeah, these are my, Marathon training shorts, um, and I really like them. These dropped the 19th, Code Nathan for raw gear, um, but they fit amazing, and these are my shorts that I wear. Also, um, when I don't run, I like to wear like something that's like comfortable because when you're running, your feet just like start to really like, they become sensitive, and you really gotta take care of them because after all, you know, you're putting mileage on your feet. They're just like a muscle they gotta recover and uh, just feel pretty comfortable. So these shoes these are the Nike reacts okay so these are basically like socks there's no shoelaces you just slip them on and I've been wearing these to train in like weight training sessions um, and these are amazing I love them these are the Nike reacts and these are my new training shoes I do not squat in these I use like uh, vans if I'm gonna squat or squat shoes but everything else I do use these for and uh, they're just really comfortable. I noticed like I had an old pair of Under Armors. My feet just hurt when I was walking around after all my, like my longer runs, really intense training days. Um, so I picked up these shoes and they're a game changer. 
10 out of 10 recommend. They fit like a sock. And yeah, these are the shoes that I wear to weight train. Where's my coffee? I need my coffee. All right, what is up guys? So I've been getting a lot of questions about the marathon program that I'm using and I'm all into this YouTube literally to show you guys um, exactly how to tackle your goals and I want you guys to do it with me so I'm going to share with you guys exactly what I'm doing a lot of people would charge for this but I think it's stupid and I just want to help you guys um, so that's the whole point of this video and you guys can take it with a grain of salt if you already have a training program but if you don't you might find this interesting so um, I'm going to throw up the training program right now um, in the top screen and it's going to be exactly what I'm looking at on my phone this is my home screen and this is what I used when I was 12 weeks out from my marathon and this is what I'm going to use when I'm 12 weeks out from BPN so this marathon um, training program is about if you were to aim for about like a sub four four hour marathon which was my goal because it's my first one like I said not trying to do anything crazy uh, maybe in the future but as of now I just want to run a marathon get after it push myself uh, so looking at this marathon program it's pretty easy and you know, I say that, and that's me saying this, when I first started, I don't know if you guys watched my one video, but I ran two miles and it was difficult. So, week eight, I was running 13 miles at an 810 pace, and that was relatively easy for me. So, it just goes to show you how fast endurance comes, right? Now that you guys can see the program, I wanna show you guys exactly how I implemented weight training into this because I get a tons of questions about how I balance weight training and running. So on those rest days that you see, there's about three of the first week and it pretty much goes through like the whole program like that. So on those three rest days, I went really heavy. I trained heavy, pushed myself hard. I didn't run obviously because of rest days, um, but just really focused on going heavy. On the days of the runs, so like Monday, Wednesday, um, Friday, Saturday, I would lift relatively light, um, keep the rep ranges higher just to preserve the muscle. Um, and then Sundays, which were my long runs, I did not lift at all. So I was lifting still six days a week. And that just really worked for me. I felt strong. I felt hard. I, I don't know. I feel like if I would just run, I would just feel soft. And I like getting a pump and I still, my heart's in the gym. That's I love getting big and strong. Um, so that's why I lift six days a week. If I just wanted to run super fast and, and be a runner, I probably wouldn't do that. But that's basically how I balance my lifting on this program. Um, I thought you guys would really enjoy like seeing how I did it. So just put that out there. Also, I want to, I want to talk about something important. Um, this program, um, it's based on time. So when it says like, 90 minutes right you look at that program and say you didn't start it yet you're like 90 minutes like that's a long time but then again if you think of miles that's like an 11 mile run and for somebody that like for me when i first started two miles was hard i was like there's no way i can do 11. but then i started to think like time is something that we all experience and we waste time sitting on our phones we waste time just sitting around not doing anything and I was like you know what I'm gonna use this time and think of it as almost like a way to push myself a time frame in the day where I just fight my demons I fight everything inside of me that I, I wanted to work on so for me when you go through those runs you really learn a lot about yourself um, in that time frame so I enjoyed it like this 90 minute runs those I swear I lived twice as long during those, those runs because you just, you, you face all these challenges and until you do it, you don't really understand. And that's why I encourage you guys to like try it because man, like when I would go for a 90 minute run, even like a, an hour and 30 minute run, uh, I was like, it was like, I was just, I learned a lot about myself. Whenever I, I thought I couldn't push anymore, I pushed through and I always, I loved like tracking time like this program is and how it's set up because because we have 24 hours in a day right so the way i would think about it is okay i'm gonna go use these 90 minutes to work on myself work through any bs that i have going on just and i would think to myself if i can't suck it up push through the pain go up through the hills and valleys of this run for 90 minutes then i have something wrong i need to address that and that's the way i would think 
I would use time as a way to work on myself, right? So I would go out for these runs and after those that time frame was over, you have the rest of the day to relax, you have the rest of the day to you know, calm down and you have those endorphins after that you finish and it's just the best feeling and I think when you look at it in time, it's a lot more easy than miles because um, it's just like we have 24 hours in a day, right? Most people spend four hours looking on their phone, right? Or four hours sitting through a, a lecture in college or, or just stuff like that and it's like if you can't suck it up and go to war with yourself and get better for the time being like in the grand scheme of things when you think about your life these runs are so small like it's like a minimal fraction of your life right so if i can use that time to benefit me in the long run and set me up for success in the future i'm gonna do that and that's the way i looked at it i was like okay i'm gonna go to work for this amount of time and then i have all this other time to um relax and Overall, this training program I loved, and I'm gonna, like I said, use it when I'm 12 weeks out from the Go One More Marathon. And uh, basically, like I said, you just gotta push through the time. Time is so relevant in our lives. We do things that suck, but eventually it's over. So if you can push through the pain, like I always use the phrase, like pain is temporary, right? Regret is forever. So the pain that you experience in that time frame is gonna end. You're going to go back, sit on your couch, relax, and it'll be over. Stick through it, push through the hills and valleys, and learn something about yourself. Because I promise you, so far just speaking, I did run a half already, but this full marathon, I already learned more about myself in the first six weeks of training than I did the past two years. And that's why I'm super stoked for this BPN marathon. And... Uh, if you guys are running a marathon, drop it in the comments down below where, when, and uh, I'll respond. And I just want to build a really sick community of people that have that same mentality. And uh, I'm using this YouTube channel to help you guys grow, become a better version of yourself. That's literally the only point I do this. It's not for self-validation. It's not for anything else. I truly want to build a community of people that just have the same mindset corn fed mentality like no matter the condition i know that like if i'm getting after it you guys are getting after it as well just hard working um relentless i love it <laughs>